Um, so Talia, how good is it to be playing in front of home crowds again? It's great to be back, be able to play in Sydney, uh, to especially being out at Blacktown to get our Greater Western Sydney crowd. Uh, the last time we played there, we actually had our title defence, even though we played at North Sydney Oval, but a fair few of our games are at Blacktown, so to get back out there would be awesome. It's a great atmosphere. And Thunder will also have games at North Sydney Oval, so plenty of opportunities for fans to see them uh, play in Sydney. And you've got Canberra too, so a lot of good home crowd support there. Yeah, 100%. Wherever we go, whether it be in Sydney or Canberra, we definitely get a lot of good support. I know playing in the final a couple of years ago at North Sydney Oval, that was really uh, awesome to see how many people got in there besides COVID restrictions. And then to play down in Canberra at Manuka Oval, uh, it's something else down there. The Canberra crowd always bring it when we get there. Brilliant. And um, what do you think Thunder fans can expect this summer? I think last year everyone was a little bit disappointed. I know from our, our team perspective that we didn't quite perform how we wanted to, but we definitely learnt and grew. And sometimes them tougher seasons you learn the most. So this year we're ready to bounce back. Our, our young squad have definitely got a lot of experience behind them now and you add a few more experienced heads in there and I'm sure that we'll back up the top again. And um, which game are you really looking forward to this summer? <laughs> I definitely look forward to the Sydney Smash every year. Uh, playing in Magenta once, um, it always brings back really good memories. So uh, yeah, it's always good to try and get one up on your teammates. And um, what did you um, learn most of all from the last two um, COVID impacted seasons? I think just being flexible. Uh, you never know where you're going to play sometimes. You might be told the day before that you've got to get on a flight to go somewhere else. So I think being flexible, uh, but also making sure that you check in with your teammates because being on the road for so long can take its toll sometimes. Great, and Talia, the WBBL is recruiting the world's best players. Um, what does that say about the way in which the world views the competition? The Women's Big Bash League is definitely the pinnacle for all T20 players around the world. Uh, I know talking to a few of our past internationals, they always try and aspire to come and play in the Big Bash. Uh, so that's, I think, a really good platform that Australia has set uh, in the cricketing front. Great, thank you for that. Lee will just do uh, three questions.